Number two on the list, Patrick Kane. I mean, a great for his entire career here in Chicago. Mm -hmm. uh, seemed to get better and better and better and better as his career went on until that hip started to slow him down a little bit. But you could argue that Patrick Kane, well, you can't argue. If you look at the paper, it's <laughs> true. His best years came after the Stanley Cups. Well, when yeah, he yeah. when he became a more complete, he was never a Marion Hosa type. But it's not no, he's never twisted. he's never going to play defense for you. But his, the way he was able to think and see the game, almost like Neo in the Matrix. Could that, that was a movie from the nineties, Mario? The Matrix. <laughs> You'd check it out, Keanu yeah, Reeves. Yeah, it came out in uh, nineteen ninety eight yeah. with Keanu Reeves, <laughs> right. and before I John, saw before, all three of them <laughs> before he played John Wick. Uh, but Kane in the Matrix style could sort of slow things down, yeah. see things before they were happening, and that's that's always what Wayne Gretzky said would would separated him from everybody else was he just knew where the puck was going to go. Yep. He just had this instinct to think ahead to be two three steps ahead. Patrick Kane had that too. There is absolutely an argument for him as the greatest Blackhawk of all time. I'm going to be honest with you. Had he finished his career in Chicago, he might have got he my probably vote. probably would be. But yeah. seeing him in another uniform, maybe it's recency. Maybe it hurts a little more than I expected it to. Because of that, I gave the nod, everyone knows who number one is, to Stan Makita yeah. uh, because of the longevity because of him being a, a hawk for life that's what edged out patrick kane for me but again much like uh we had with uh with belfour and Corey crawford at two and three coin flip yeah right or three and four rather yeah uh it's a it's a coin flip on that argument uh i could see it either way but um look three stanley cups speak for themselves at con Smythe mvp he had all the personal achievements he had all the team success the argument is certainly there but for me personally Seeing him in a Rangers uniform, it was tough. And maybe if we did this again in two years, three years, I might change my vote. But for now, I still think Stan Makita is the icon of the Blackhawks franchise. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, we'll get it. We can break down the comparisons when we in here in a minute. But you know, Patrick Kane had the more you know team success than Stan Makita. Stan Makita had just the one Stanley Cup. Uh, was denied two other shots at it having to play against those juggernaut 1971, those 70s Canadian teams were some of the greatest teams ever mm -hmm. with Scotty Bowman in his prime behind the bench, um, you know, lost twice to those teams in the Stanley Cup final. So, you know, including once in a heartbreaking game in game seven where they had the lead going into the third period on home ice, Oof. you know, you win one of those two series or both of those series and he's got three cups. And I think the debate is even – less of a debate yeah um, yeah but patrick kane the Changes three stanley it. cups you know the caller the cons my all that stuff we all know what he did but you know uh as great as patrick kane was his numbers are still pretty far off of stan makita yeah who played more t more time here but right still. which is i think the same kind of thought process yeah. i would have is that had he only played for the blackhawks yeah. through throughout his career um, he would have probably matched or surpassed those numbers. Probably. He would have came very, very close if yeah. he, you know, if he had this hip surgery and came back to and, what and was we're healthy. used to and played another three years, he probably would have. And, you know, uh, to to be the, the, the meatball of the day and, you know, to, to Young Dangle God's $1. Thank you. Um, you know, the, the pr possibility of him playing three, four years on a, you know, refurbished hip, with Connor Bedard, that's the kind of player that you've matched with Patrick Kane, and and it it becomes instant magic. So, to entertain and tickle that thought would be pretty amazing. But uh, I will say, I think it is okay that we and the Blackhawks have moved on from it. All right, here's Patrick Kane's uh, individual accomplishments: three Stanley Cups, the 07-08 Calder, the 07-08 All Rookie Team, four-time All Star, 2012-13 Con Smythe. 2016 Art Ross, 2016 Hart, 2016 Pearson, a member of the NHL 100th anniversary team. Our, the number one man on our list, Stan Makita, is a Hall of Famer, a one-time cup winner, a four-time Art Ross trophy winner, two-time Lady Bing, two-time Hart, eight-time NHL All-Star, also a member of the NHL's uh, 100th anniversary team. Uh, he is the Blackhawks' all-time leading scorer. He is the Blackhawks' all-time leader in games played. Stan Makita is Mr. Blackhawk. Yeah, absolutely. And went from 
his playing career until the day he died way too young as a pillar of a human being as well. Beloved. Beloved by everybody. Um, a good human being uh, that treated everyone from, you know, from Gordie Howe and Bobby Hull to the guy who filled the toilet paper rolls in the bathroom at the Chicago Stadium with class and with dignity and everything. And um, anyone who's had the pleasure of meeting Stan Makita, as I have, he's just an ordinary guy who just happened to be great at hockey. And uh, I, I think as, as you go organization to organization, talk about Mount Rushmore's, or you think about, like, who is Mr. Whoever, uh, the Blackhawks could not have a better person at the top of their organization than Stan yeah. Makita. Yep. Um, Makita, we do the, the all-time leader in games played, not even close, over 200 more than Duncan Keith played. I mean, he played for 22 seasons. Uh, second in goals only to Bobby Hull, had uh, 97 more or 95 more than Patrick Kane. I can't do math. All-time leader in assists, over 150 more than Patrick Kane, almost. And then all-time career leader in points, still 242 points more than Patrick Kane did. Now, granted, a lot more time here. Yeah. Um, you know, over 200 more games. So it would have been interesting to see. But Stan Makita, we mentioned, you know, everybody called him Stosh. Like, he was your buddy. Yeah. I, I, I was lucky enough to meet him a handful of times before he passed away at different events. Loved coming to Hawks games. And, you know, when he had his book, he, he would sit out in the, in the concourse and sign for everybody. You mm-hmm. know, if you were in line, he, you would give him an autograph. Um, would show up to events, would just show up to the game and just would walk the concourse and people would go, oh my God, that's Stan Makita. Would shake everybody's hand, talk to everybody. Some of the other things he did though, I mean, he went from being one of the most penalized players yep. to, to winning the Lady Bing, um, changed the way he played. Like overnight. Yeah, and, and you've told the story why. You can share that. You had that in your book. Yeah, his, his daughter asked him after a game, like, why do you spend so much time like, not sitting with your friends? Why are you always sitting by yourself? And he kind of realized, yeah, you know what? I don't need to play like a jackass to, <laughs> to, to be an effective player. And you look at his penalty minutes, uh, his first full season, 119, 94, 97, 69, nice, 146, 154, down to 58, to 12, to 14. Like, <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. Like it, it really Completely did happen changed. very quickly for Stan yeah, Mikita. It did. And then... You know, he was one of the first star players to wear a helmet full time. Yep. And curve a stick. Curve a stick. stick. A lucky little accident in practice where he got the uh, skate blade stuck in the boards and it broke. He took a shot with it and he went, oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then he and, Bob, and Bobby Hull joined the, the revolution. He was the first guy to curve a stick blade. And that's the biggest reason goalies started to wear masks. Yeah. Because all those, of a sudden, those pucks started Stan to rise. and Bobby Hull could get the puck <laughs> up at your head at 99 miles an hour. And it was more of, of uh, life saving measurements than anything else. But Stan Makita revolutionized the sport by an accident. And he took that first shot with that broken blade and was like, I'm going to do this all the time because yeah. that helped him win all those Art Ross trophies too. Uh, very uh, revolutionary and, um, you know, a, a guy that changed, literally changed the game of hockey. Absolutely. And, uh, again, a, a great guy. Uh, I'm friends with his daughter on Facebook, and she's. I, I, it's very cool to see, you know, she obviously loves her father very much and is always sharing – like family photos of Stan and like you just see this guy as a grandfather and yeah. as an uncle and as a, a dad and a husband. It's very cool. And she reached out to me after I wrote the book and said, Hey, I like my dad's name popped up on a Google alert. And I saw, I think they, the triumph books might've put an excerpt out sure. from the Makita chapter promotionally. So I just want to thank you for the nice stuff you wrote about my dad. I'm like, you're welcome. Like, what, yeah. <laughs> what, am I, what else am I going to say? You know, yeah, he's a, right, a great right. guy. Uh, another f- favorite story of mine, a couple of years ago, maybe 10, 15 years ago, my wife and I went to the Buffalo Wild Wings on, uh, I don't know if it's Darien or like right in that area there, like right off uh, Route 83 and 55. And we walk in and you know, like the, the little bench by the waiting area, Stan Makita is just sitting there. I was like, <laughs> Is that Stan Makita? I like looked at Hope like, is Stan Makita waiting he's for wait, a table at beat ups? He's waiting for his to go order. Do these people not know who that is? And oh he's gosh. just like, and he was just sitting there, like, just, just having to wait out. for his wings. Yeah. 
I don't know. It's oh, cool. That's great. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, all Hawks fans should be proud to have this guy at the top of the organization. Yeah. No doubt about yep. it. Absolutely. Uh, it was a pleasure to get to meet him. I wish I'd seen him play. It's one of my only regrets. <laughs>